all right guys welcome back to the channel uh welcome back to diecast show customs uh today i'm gonna be talking about this company here tiger wheels uh maybe you heard of them maybe you haven't so i'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what i do know so this company uh started about i think 2000 early 2000 uh, their uh, main goal was the racing scene uh, in puerto rico racing hot wheels at that time was a a big deal there there's a lot of gathering and uh, people were racing their hot wheels either in uh, plastic uh, racetracks or aluminum racetracks i try to include a clip of the race uh, so you get an idea how that works so uh how was uh they, they were selling a lot of hot wheels you know and uh so was uh johnny lining and all those uh company right especially uh johnny lining with their uh, speed rebel uh, wheels uh, if you don't know what a speed rebel is i'll show you one pretty soon so this guy uh started out started this company out originally the cars were made in china i believe by a company named anson which they already built uh 118th cars and i guess <clears throat> he started out this side company tiger wheels and with the main office being in san juan puerto rico uh their cars were built specifically and targeted for racing uh, they have a very a lot of variations with the bw bus including this one that came in that blister i do have i think i believe close to like 20 different variations this was a a, a series they uh they started out with only three states, New York, Texas, and Tennessee, as you can see here. Look at the back of the car, 2002, Tiger Wheel, San Juan, Puerto Rico, made in China. I should give you uh, some information there. They did uh, build a lot of uh, cup cars too, that people like for racing, because they, they were larger. But, uh, a lot of people you know they like the vw bus so they did that as you can see here, here in the front it doesn't have the vw it has a tw for tiger wheels uh but their cars had a lot of details so uh people you know a lot of people will buy them to race but a lot of people will buy them to collect because they you know they they are solid they come apart with a screw some metal casting metal chassis and uh, as you can see here they try to copy uh bits and pieces from different companies so this is basically a copy of a speed rebel wheel as you can see here it has a a, a fine sticking out edge here let me see if i get that in camera there you go uh so this will make your car go a lot faster going down a, a racetrack a lot of people what uh, they would do is take out that hubcap right there that will help uh the wheel run a lot better and they are very heavy i got a weigh station here we're gonna be weighing a few of them and since we started with the bw bus i'm gonna compare it to a new hot wheels as you can see the the hot wheels is uh, a bit bigger but uh i don't recall hot wheels making this casting with uh i don't remember, really don't remember making them with uh plastic wheels because as you know rubber rubber wheels don't work for uh racing it'll slow down the car so you can see uh the tiger wheels one uh pretty much resemble more a Johnny Lightning type of casting. I don't have a Johnny Lightning right now next to me. <clears throat> I do have a few of them back home in Puerto Rico. That's where I have a lot of that uh, collection. 
and uh, we'll, we'll weigh them later i just want to show you first the few cars that i do have here is an impala which this one i rescued from a uh from a track it was constantly being used for racing so you can see it's scratched up the pain i'm pretty sure if i uh buff it out it'll come back to life but um uh, i'm gonna leave it as it is and this one it's also very heavy metal chassis metal body and to me the wheels look i try to think they, they try to copy the tomika wheel a bit and they do have a slightly edge here on the corner which helps a lot you know when it comes to racing that's the logo right there in the back tiger wheels so you can see the cars do have a lot of nice details see this this is another one turn it upside down i don't want to roll it out of the table this uh i don't recall if it was sold as a look at that it has a little piece of plastic there so this might be holding down the i've had this car for like eight nine years and i just noticed that that piece of plastic there that might be holding down the the axle so it doesn't flex it has it in the front also look again i rescued this car from a racetrack so that might have been of the person they might have tied it down so the axle doesn't go like this and it'll help it stay uh, firm on the track. Yeah. I'm going to have to open all these cars and uh, like clean them up inside because uh, when they're racing, they do use uh, some uh, contact cleaning spray and all kind of lubricants to lubricate the axle so you can see this one still is running pretty good so i have this one which is uh a chevelle so i didn't know if it was a malibu so it's a, it was sold as a chevelle it says it here in the back and as you can see it has tampons all the way around so they did, this car wasn't cheap. Back then it was, I think it was like $5. And check out this Camaro. So like right now, if you buy a Camaro like this, you throw it down a, a racetrack, look at this. Look at all these uh, nice details. Such a beautiful car and heavy too. Check out all the details and the chassis. Uh, the wheel also representing a uh, speed rebel trying to imitate a uh, Johnny Lightning type of wheel here oh yeah here's a uh, an actual Johnny Lightning Camaro you see they're about the same size although this one has a plastic top and an opening hood, which doesn't really open all that good. Here it is. And this one doesn't have the Speed Rebel wheels either. Because that's a, uh, that was another problem back then. John Lightning did sell uh, the Speed Rebel wheels with axle separately. But not every car came with the, the Speed Rebel wheels so they they started when they figured out that people were using them to race uh they uh started to sell them also so i think this is compared to a hot wheels so the tiger wheels is uh bigger and a lot heavier look at this such a nice car so i'm gonna I'm gonna try to weigh 
put these down so you can get an idea. All right, let me see if I can get this in camera here. All right, let me see. All right, you can see that. Okay, let's wait until it goes to zero. It is in zero. All right, let's weigh down the Camaro first. And it says 254. I don't know if you can see that. All right, I'm gonna have to take the, the phone out here. Hold on. All right, so this is a bunch better view. That's the car. So it weighs 2.54 ounces. Let's do the Johnny Lightning. Check it out, 1.9. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is when you're uh, trying to win a gravity race. And let's compare it to the Hot Wheels, 162. As you can see, the, the Tiger wheels almost, yeah, almost an ounce more than the Hot Wheels. Uh, let's do the uh, Impala here, 261. Let's do the Chevelle, 254. And let's do the Volkswagen, 261. So you'll see that a lot of them, the weight is pretty close. That way they uh, they could basically run and guess each other because that, that's how the races were set up. They're set up by weight. I also have here one of the original 16 Camaros. Look how much that weight. 138, almost nothing. Uh, the new Hot Wheels van does weight a little bit more, 282. But again, uh, if it does exist, exist with the uh, plastic wheels, let me know. So I hope you found this video helpful. Maybe information that you didn't know about. Uh, these, you can still find a lot of them on uh, eBay. So if you search on eBay for Tiger, Tiger Wheels, you could probably find the Camaro. I even seen this one, but uh, I don't know if you're gonna like the price. They're not cheap. This one, the I think this was one of the last ones they did. So uh, I think they still have a lot of these of these uh, series with the and it's only three. So you might be able to pick up all three. Uh, they do have a lot of them with solid colors. They have uh, a lot of them with different uh, the art on the side with the different towns in Puerto Rico. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Especially about this Camaro. This Camaro looks hot. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, remember to subscribe. And I'll put up a, a few videos here on the, on the screen. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. Peace out.